There was a lot of positives coming out of the weekend. Going two and one, obviously it was a little bit disappointing finish, letting the opportunity against Indiana slip away, but um, we figured out some things as we're in a new new lineup. We can't really consider it new anymore with three more matches under our belts. Um, so that's good that we have a little bit more comfort level in the 6-2. I thought our middles played well at times and they continue to develop being young middles. Um, really at this point, we can't consider them young either. We're 10 matches in and they're not playing like young middles, so um, our expectations keep going up for those two. We're doing some really good things that we can build on as we look to playing our best volleyball in November. There's definitely some puzzle pieces coming together. Season's a, a story, and right now we're kind of in the um, adversity stage of the story where we're dealing with injuries and different lineups, and uh, it, you know it's part of our story, and so we gotta handle that and allow this to be a positive thing for our team to be peaking late November. Uh, we will look back on it and it will, will have either made us stronger and we have more options and we've developed more players or it will make us weaker because we handle it and kind of have a pity party and um, don't play at our best and it, it hurts our confidence. Just starting conference makes it very important that we are playing to host the Big Sky Championships but so are 11 other teams and so um, we got to we got to be at our best starting Thursday. There's a you know there's a learning curve and we are kind of going through that right now. And Thursday starts that um, that goal of winning a Big Sky Championship during the regular season.